Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's recording. But hey everybody, welcome back to Irish Wilds. So now I've actually got a brand new uh, GoPro for myself. Um, I'll be doing solo videos from here on in. I'll explain why that's happening in the next couple of videos. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that's happened recently. So hopefully um, things will get a little bit better. But anyway, I'm actually on my way down to go meet Rob um, from RCA Exotics. If you haven't followed him, links down below and there'll be a screening thing here very shortly. Now, um, I'm on my way down to see Rob and hopefully catch us some pet. So see you guys in a few minutes. Yeah, not sure which way to go. Have we go this way. Ah! Stinging nails. The smart way. <laughs> so I thought that this would be a teachable moment. Um, show you the kind of not that I use. Well, I was caught a patch. <laughs> I think I hit him in the face because he literally was on my line the second the second it hit the water. Ah, good job. Black map spinner? Yeah, uh, it's not meant for black spinner yet. Yeah, black cool. Money. Cool. Hopefully you can see that. Go, go, go. Back in. Um, so back to my teachable moment. Um, <laughs> before Rob decided to come over with his perch that he smacked in the face. Um, so, a notch that we normally use for these, these kind of hooks, you see them? They don't have an eyelet, they just have like a little spoon. It's really simple. Um, what I do anyway is grab your, your main line and follow the hook all the way around. Like that. See that? And basically you just wrap your knot a couple of times. Now because I'm using braid I'm going to have to do this a lot more than usual. Ooh, without messing up here. And kids throwing rocks into the water. Not realizing that there's people down here. Because if that did hit my head, guess what? That's an assault charge. Alright, so as soon as you've done this a couple of times, anyhow. You see that little loop that you made? Just put your line through it and slowly pull see? nice and easy and just slide it up and tighten both sides there you go and I just cut off the excess. If I can find my knife anywhere. Aha, here we go. You don't need to be too worried about that. Now, any line that you cut off, make sure you pick it up and throw it away. And there you go. Nice sturdy line, sturdy knot, and then easy enough to put your bait onto it. And then I'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay, well, I have these uh, little split shots. I'm just going to put them maybe about a foot over my line. Nothing too, too big, because I'm literally just going to be dropping my line. So it just sinks down to the bottom, maybe about a foot. And get your split shot. Now I want this to sink fairly quickly, so 
I'm just gonna put four on. Four split shots, just in tandem with one another. And then putting on my, my worm. So I'll show you that in a few minutes as soon as this is done. Oh wait, there's a perch. <laughs> <laughs> Putting on a worm and a hook. It's nice and easy. Um, if you're squeamish, turn away now. But the whole idea is to just make sure that you can hook them on three times onto the small, tiny little hook. So if a perch does come along, it's a lot harder for them. That's it. That's all it is. Simple as that. Anyway, uh, a row, uh, uh, one of these perch flew from the sky and attacked me earlier, so we're going to release him. Oh, there we go. Fish up. Oh, hey! <laughs> perch. Turn little perch. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. There we go. I'm gonna let this guy go. Ooh, I'm not sure if you can see that. There he goes. Well, that was the first patch of the day. So, uh, let's try and catch ourselves another one. Nice and easy, just drop it in. Slowly reel back up. On. Oh, hey, another perch. Oop, kind of went over over here. Let's go quick. Save him. Ah, don't, 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 don't spine me. Don't spine me. Don't spine me. Okay, he's making his way. Not sure what he wants to do. <laughs> All right, well, we have landed him. So, anyway, there he goes. He's in the water. And he's made his way down. Second patch of the day. <laughs> Alright. Let's go catch ourselves another another one. So now this is generally the usual rig that we Oh look, I'm on. Ah missed him. I missed him. But this is the normal rig that we normally use. And it's nice and easy. Good for catching perch. You wanna try it out? Go ahead. It's nice and easy. A few split shots, a couple of hooks. It doesn't cost you that much. This guy's fighting fairly hard. Ooh, come back doing some line to actually fight with. I'm not sure if you can see him there, guys, but he is there. Look at him. Aha! Perch! Well, at least you know they're not getting foul hooked and they're just jumping off. But hey, there you go. Um, forgot to mention, check these out. If you got a phone, by all means, check it out. And, hey, got a QR code. So if you do see me around and if you want one of these, just come and ask me and I'll give you one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What do you think I should change it? Rope, call your perch. 
actually hooked from the outside of the mouth, so I'm not sure if that counts. He did go for it. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't inside. <laughs> oh, oh crap, he's in the water. He's in the water, technically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, I'll help you out there. Rob is trying to find the pliers. <laughs> I got my first pike today. Um, it's kind of a small one. Uh, he is kind of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Ah! Woo! Okay, that almost properly hooked me. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to actually properly hold him now. There we go. Um, this first one gone. Second one. <laughs> Ended up hooking myself there, but oh well, tiny little pipe, tiny little guy, <laughs> gonna let him go. Well, that's a nice perch. That's my PB for this year, anyway. <laughs> wow, he is huge. Nice. Yeah, that is a massive one. He's right down his throat as well. And the pliers take this out, even on skin are weird. <laughs> So we just measured him out, he's one foot and he was just over a pound. So we're gonna let him go and hopefully he'll revive. Get some girls going. Let him go. Ah! Well, there was nothing wrong with him. He kicked off. <laughs> Good job, man.